So for me, I typically like to wear like slouchy, oversized t-shirts, kind of like- Michael's like, yes, yeah. slouchy, <laughs> that's the style. Yeah. So John, you're obviously wearing John Elliott today, right? But let's check out a little bit more. Michael, we come on in here. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Lockley. Hello. <laughs> I always wanted kind of like a super tailored pair of sweats and the only place I ever saw it was like the 80s era of yeah. like cocaine soccer. Yeah. Obviously everything I do is very much inspired by sports and movement. So that was just really inspired by a pair of, of soccer pants from the 80s. Right. So that's why I named them the Escobars. The earliest spark was with this sweatshirt that he's wearing right now. Right. We call it the Villain Hoodie. The first store that I ever worked in in San Francisco, which is no longer, it was called Villain. So it's oh, kind of okay. like an ode to where I started. It's a pullover hoodie with two side zippers concealing a hidden kangaroo pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I was watching YouTube videos of Joe Montana in the playoffs against the New York Giants, and I don't know what year it was in the playoffs, and he got destroyed by Lawrence Taylor. Mm -hmm. And his jersey got untucked, and he puts his hand underneath uh -huh. like the jersey into the hand warmer, and it was like, boom. And so that was really the spark, that was the idea. I sat there and started sketching it. You know, next thing I know, I was wearing it in a bar, and it was right, like, right. that was like the first litmus test that, okay, this is, this is gonna work. I knew that if we kind of had some traction from the store staff, yeah. then they would push this stuff. Right. You know, I worked on the floor for five years selling mm -hmm. clothes, and I understand that psychology of what goes into making a guy pick something up off a right. rack. And yeah, this stuff, it was it was sold out in the week. They called for a reorder, and we had nothing. <laughs> You're like, a what? A re what? Yeah. yeah. So at GQ, we've been following what you've been doing for a while, but one really cool moment was in February where you had your first runway show. Extremely nervous, mm -hmm. a little bit scared, mm -hmm. uh, but also, you know, you never really get a second chance to do something for the first time. Did a producer say, oh, Kanye just showed up? <laughs> I mean, for him, he came through, yeah. and so, someone passed it down the line to someone within my team, and yeah. that guy <laughs> on a dead sprint. <laughs> John, John! <laughs> Kanye's here. Yeah, yeah. He's a generational creative. Right. You know, anytime that you have any kind of FaceTime with someone like that, yep. that's special. They weren't in the first collection. We had our second collection, we were taking it to Vegas to actually start showing wholesale accounts and we for once had some people who were interested in seeing the line. Right, right. And so um, we were outside of LA County and my business partner, Aaron Levy, hits me, he goes, you brought the sweats, right? Right, right. I said, you know what, I didn't bring them. I don't, I don't think we're gonna show them. I don't think it fits in the line. <laughs> and uh, he goes, dude, bullshit. Right. Pulls the car around, goes back, we go and get them. Right time, right pant, right silhouette. People right. were trying them on and it was just like, bang. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank Will. You. Appreciate it, man. All right, cool.